Good afternoon. Good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world, welcome. I'm just giving Facebook a minute to, uh, okay, cool, people are starting to join. And um, yeah, welcome to another edition of Self-Care Sunday. Um, we're going to do a yoga session for paddlers. And I see people giving me a little smileys, so I think that means you can hear me. Uh, can you hear the, the relaxing music and how's the volume of the music? Um, if you could let me know, that would be great as well. Uh, and let's see. Okay, so before we start, uh, we're going to need a couple of props today. So if you have something round, like a bolster, a foam roller, a rolled up yoga mat, rolled up blankets, rolled up towels, a, a bolster like pillow, anything like that, that um, you can roll up cylindrically. Um, I'll give you a minute before we start while people are still signing on. Go ahead and get yourself, if you've got a bolster, if you've got yoga blocks, or if you've got an extra yoga mat or a foam roller, these are all examples of things that will work for what we're going to do. And go ahead and get a couple of pillows, a couple of blankets as well because we're going to do one pose in a yin style which means we'll be there for a couple minutes and I want to make sure you're really comfortable. And if you have also optional very light weights between one to three pound, this is totally optional. Um, the props, you need something but the weights are optional. So I'm going to talk for just one minute while you guys Take your time, gather some things to make yourself comfortable, um, and I'm going to talk about the weather. Normally, I like to do my live sessions outside, but it's a rainy day today, which is wonderful because we've actually been in a bit of a drought here, so I'm happy that it's raining today, but um, we are inside my lovely studio home. Uh, for this yoga this afternoon and um, yeah thank you all so much for signing on for taking about 30 minutes out of your Sunday to do something really nice for yourselves for your body um, also maybe for your, your whole families here um, this is like I said kind of going on our self-care Sunday theme um, but that can be something family time as well and Go ahead and take a moment to turn off distractions like put your phone on do not disturb. Um, just do things that will help you have a nice quiet space for the next 20. I'm going to aim for 20 minutes. I always seem to go a bit longer. So it's probably going to be like 30 minutes. Um, and yeah, just, just set aside that time to be here now with us and um, in, a, in a nice space. So hopefully you got your props. Hopefully you've got yourself on Do Not Disturb, and um, let's begin. Yummy. So, we're going to come into a reclined bound angle to start. And that means whatever prop you grabbed, whether that's a bolster-like pillow, or a yoga mat, or a foam roller, you're going to put that behind your back along your spine. And if it's yoga blocks, that's okay too. The goal is to have this prop between your shoulder blades, but you also want something supporting your head. So go ahead and put it to the height that you also have support in your head. So you're not like all the way in a big neck extension. So we want the shoulder blades to rest on either side of your prop. And yeah, I'll stick with my foam roller. And you want, again, support under your head. Maybe that's an extra blanket or an extra pillow. Um, and you want to feel that the chest opens here and the shoulder blades relax down on either side of your prop. And even if it's something that's really soft, as long as you feel a nice opening across the chest and you feel a very gentle, there should be a very gentle back bend, upper back bend here. Now your legs, are going to, with your bottoms of your feet together and your knees out wide, 
be in a bound angle pose or a butterfly pose. Now, if that's really difficult for you, you can take your pillows, props, blankets, whatever you've got, and put them underneath so you have some support underneath your hips. I don't want any sharp shooting pain in the inner thighs. So give yourself some support there. Or if that's really just not available to you, you can have the knees bent or have the legs out straight. So we're starting here. And I want you to take a nice deep breath. In through the nose and out either through the lips or through the nose. And let's just slow down. Quiet the body. Relaxing the body. And I want this to be a comfortable position for you. If you're not comfortable, resituate your props so that you are, or just take a moment to lie on your back here with your chest open and your shoulders down, relax into the mat. This should feel really good and really supported. And as paddlers, we spend a lot of time, you know, with a forward movement. Everything's rolling forward, pushing forward. And also, when we sit at the computer for a lot of times, our posture and our shoulders roll forward and our chest gets tight. And um, so this position is really great to open up the chest which is going to help your shoulders. It's gonna help your upper traps, your neck, everything basically in the upper back in a nice counter position to what we normally are in during the day. For your arms, you can have them palms face up, and then I want you to slide them as high up as you can before they start to come off the ground. So. If you feel, if you're like this, right, and your arms won't come down, have your arms at whatever height they can be where they're, the back of the, the elbow, the forearm, and the back of the hand are all on the ground. And as you breathe, think about that rib cage expanding and lengthening. And think about the front of the rib cage expanding and opening. Think about the collarbones broadening. Think about the shoulders relaxing. And again, relaxing, just taking, we're gonna be here for about five more deep breaths, just a few moments to just melt in, be present, and feel open, feel space across the front of your body. more deep breaths. So if you were one of my ones that optionally got light weights, I know these look like huge weights, but they're just ancient. They're actually only a few pounds. And you want to add in some movement here. You're gonna take the weights in your hands and we're gonna slowly slide the hands up overhead, but stop when it feels like your hands and your arms wanna pull up off the mat, that's where you're gonna stop and you're gonna exhale and you're gonna see relax and back down. So I don't want this to feel like a strain. I want this to feel like a really nice assisted stretch with just a light weight, slowly reaching the arms up overhead. And if the elbows need to bend a little bit, or if the elbows come off the mat a little bit and that's not straining your shoulders, that's okay, as long as the backs of the hands stay down. And maybe the arms slide up all the way overhead. And maybe you make some nice shoulder angels here, sliding the arms up overhead. And sliding the arms back down by your side. Again, at any time, if your hips get uncomfortable, you can bend the knees, you can straighten the legs. And then we're gonna reach the arms up overhead, and you're gonna stretch out long. You can have weights in your hands or no weights in your hands. You're just gonna reach the arms up overhead as high as you can reach them. And then we're gonna bend the elbows, and it's okay if the elbows aren't down on the ground, but you wanna be 
drawing them down towards the ground. And we're going to make bent arm shoulder angels. Now kind of like your shoulder wall slides. See if you can have the elbows sliding down along the ground. Depending on whatever prop you have underneath you, the bigger your prop is, the more difficult this is. The softer your prop is, the easier it probably is to slide your hands along the ground here. And then if your legs are still bent, go ahead and slowly bring your knees together and let's all stretch our legs out long here and reach our arms up overhead and stretch the whole body really long. Take a nice deep breath in and a long breath out. So you're going to support your head with your hands and we're going to lift ourselves up as high as we need to to remove the props from underneath us and then we're going to lie back down nice and slow. And then once again reach the arms up overhead and reach the legs out long. And you're going to point and flex your feet. And then you're going to reach your hands up overhead, you're going to make gentle fists, and you're going to roll your wrists in circles. I said up overhead, you can have your arms up overhead for this, you can have them up in the air, and then make wrist circles in the other direction. And it's okay if the forearms and the elbows are rotating too, this should be a stretch for the whole forearms. You're going to, with your hand extending out in front of you, you're going to bring your fingers, the backs of your fingers, toward the back of your arm. You should feel a stretch in the front of your forearm. Deep breath in. Relax. And then we're going to bring the inside of the palm towards the inside of the forearm. So you should feel a stretch in the top of the outside of the forearm and the top of the outside of the hand. Nice deep breath, shoulders relaxing down into the mat. And then let's do the other hand, bending it back, pulling the back of the hand towards the back of the arm. breath and then let's pull the front of the hand inside of the palm towards the inside of the arm. We're going to reach the arms up overhead again, and we're going to make a quarter moon with our body. So you're going to walk your feet over to the right, and you're going to walk your hands over to the right. And maybe you're even going to wiggle your shoulders a little bit over to the right. So you're making a crescent moon shape with your body. Hands and feet are reaching towards the same side. So you should feel a nice deep stretch if you wiggled your hands and feet to the right. A nice deep stretch all along the left side of your body. From the outside of your left hand, going down your left arm, all the way down the left side, the left hip. And even you can cross the left foot over the right and feel a stretch going all the way down the outside of your left leg. Take a deep breath into that left side, feel it lengthen. Try and keep both hips and shoulders down on the mat. started raining outside. It sounds so nice. Go ahead and slowly release that. Walk your feet over to the left side. Walk your hands and maybe wiggle your shoulders over to the left side so you make a crescent moon to the opposite direction. And you can take a hold of your right wrist and do a gentle pull so you feel a little deeper stretch down the right side, the right arm, and maybe even crossing your right foot over your left so you feel a stretch going all the way down outside of your right leg. Hips, 
especially that right hip and that right shoulder still down on the mat. Nice relaxing breath. And then let's come back to center. And then bring the knees into your chest, one or both at a time, and let's do a counter stretch. Let's just squeeze the knees into the chest, and if you want to, pull the forehead to the knee and roll yourself into a little ball, rounding through the spine. And then if you rolled into a ball, let your head and shoulders come back down, and let's just take the knees in a nice slow circle, going in one direction, so you should feel... A stretch in the hips and a nice relaxation of your lower back into the mat. Let's take the knees in the other direction. Nice big circles. And then everybody's favorite. You can, we're gonna do happy baby. <laughs> we're on Facebook Live so nobody's watching. No screen captures, please. We're gonna take the knees wide apart. And level one is just stay here. Level two is you're gonna take the feet up towards the sky. Let me go so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so level two, the feet are up towards the sky and you can grab your ankles, your calves. If you're really flexible and you can grab the outside of the feet, you can do that too. But I want, if your butt is up in the air, when to do that, I want you to bring your tailbone back down. So I want your whole spine and your whole tailbone pressing down into the mat and the shoulders pressing down into the mat so you don't have to grab the feet you don't even have to grab the legs at all I want the spine down on the mat but wherever you are do draw the knees wide and low down towards the ground if you want to rock from side to side this is happy baby pose if you want to take a screen capture and blackmail me later I probably won't put that in there so I should <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do a figure four. Let's cross the right ankle over the left knee. You're gonna press your right knee away from you, and you're gonna pull your left knee towards you. And I like to interlace the fingers and reach them behind the left knee and draw it towards me as I'm either actively or isometrically pressing that right knee away. Should feel a nice stretch in the right thigh. Let's do some ankle circles with that left foot. And then the other direction. And then let's add in a hamstring floss. So bending deeply that right knee, you're gonna point your toes and then straighten the leg as far as you can to the sky with pointed toes. And you're gonna flex the foot at the top and then heel is gonna lead the way down and then pointing at the bottom, toes push up and point to the sky as straight as you can, flex the foot deeply, and bend the knee down. So let's do that a couple more times. Point up, flex down, point up, flex down, and then let's stay with a nice straight leg if you can, and if you wanna draw that leg a little closer, feel a little deeper stretch. Maybe do some ankle circles at the top. And then relax. Slide the right knee on top of the left. So you're sitting like as if you were a lady with her legs crossed. And you're gonna draw the knees into the chest. And level one is to just stay here with the knees into the chest. And level two would be to reach for your calves, your ankles or your feet. And you're gonna pull your hips, I'm sorry, you're gonna pull your feet actually away from your hips and then down towards the ground. So it's a pretty deep stretch on the outside of that, so that right thigh, that right glute. Take a deep breath. Try and get the hips back down towards the ground. Again, it's okay if you're just here with the knees crossed. And then we're gonna roll over onto the right side with the legs still crossed. And we're gonna do some active twists here. So left arm's gonna open up and you're gonna twist and reach to the left. So 
your right leg is holding your left knee down. And just twist as far as you can and even look over to the left. Follow your left hand as it reaches over to the left. And if you're feeling really tight like I am today, go ahead and uncross the knees and you'll be able to reach and twist a little further over to the left and back to the right. We're gonna do one more of these actively, dynamically. And then let's go ahead and hold the twist. So, I like to put my right hand on my left knee and I'm trying to draw that left shoulder down towards the ground and I'm gazing over the left side of the body. And if you still had your weights handy or reachable, you could Oh, mine are just out of reach. You could put a weight in your left hand to help encourage that arm and that shoulder down. And let's just take a couple more deep breaths here. And you're gonna think about the left side of the body, the left hip reaching away from the left shoulder and getting really long through that left side. And then take some deep breaths. Really fill up as much as you can on the inhale. And really pull everything in and squeeze everything towards your spine on the exhale. And then let's bring the knees back to center. You can make knee circles, you can rock from side to side, you can do another happy baby. Um, I'm gonna spin it around. Okay, so now left foot on top of the right, left ankle on top of the right knee. And you're gonna press that left knee away from you. You're gonna pull that right knee towards you. To grab behind that right leg. We'll make some ankle circles with the right foot. I'm just gonna read what this comment says. Okay, cool. Keep going with your ankle circles in the other direction. And then let's add in that hamstring floss. So we're going to Point the toes and extend the leg as high as we, straighten it as much as we can. Flex the foot, bring the heel towards the butt. Point the toes, press the toes up to the sky. Flex the foot, heel towards your butt. Let's do that three more times. As straight as you can at the top, but it doesn't have to be locked up. Just whatever feels good. And then let's stay at the top here, maybe pulling that leg a little closer, maybe making some big ankle circles at the top with a straight leg, seeing how different that feels. Then the right leg, we're going to cross the left knee on top of the right knee. So the knees are nestled together. You can let your feet go by your hips and we're just going to pull the knees towards the chest and level one you're going to stay here. If this feels like a deep stretch that's totally great. If you want to go a little deeper reaching for your ankles or feet and drawing the feet away from the hips and then back down towards the ground. Just a gentle uh, pressure down towards the ground. We're not yanking and pulling here. This should all feel really go to the level where you feel a sensation, but it feels like a good stretching sensation, not like a I'm gonna rip my groin sensation. And then let's take a couple deep breaths. And then we're going to roll over onto the left side. And again, if you kept your legs crossed in the last one, do that. If you ended up uncrossing your knees, you can do that. And we're going to do a couple of active twists. So that right shoulder is going to open up. We're going to twist and look to the right, drawing the right shoulder as close as we can to the ground. And then coming back as we exhale, elbows together. Inhale to open twist, look over your right shoulder. And exhale to come back. Let's do three more. And 
Okay, and that's when we're gonna hold. So we're going to reach now the right hip as far away from the right shoulder as we can. We're gonna really exhale that right shoulder as far down into the mat as we can, looking over your right shoulder. I'm looking to the left because I'm talking to the screen, but I want you guys looking over your right arm, away from your knees. Take a few deep breaths. Really think about a long spine here. Can you get even longer in your twist? And then let's come back to center. And you're going to bring your knees into your chest. You can roll side to side. You can do another happy baby. And then we're going to make a ball again, rounding the spine. And we're going to roll up and back along the spine. And we're going to roll all the way up to a seated position. So hands behind you, knees bent. I wanna face this way, okay. Take your feet as wide apart as your mat. Hands just wherever they wanna be behind you. And let's drop the knees from side to side slowly. And then with both knees over to the right side, you should have about a 90-90 with your right foot right by your left knee. We're going to turn our body, our belly button, over our right shin. And we're going to reach and extend out over that right shin. And if this is really tight for you, grab whatever prop you had under your back in our beginning pose. And you can give yourself some extra prop up here if the ground feels really far away. Just trying now to extend out long, like the chest is reaching out longer over that right shin. Pretty deep stretch in your right glute and also the right inner thigh, maybe even your left outer hip. Nice deep breath. And then let's slowly walk ourselves up, hands behind the back, knees go over to the left side, and we're going to fold out over our left shin, walking and extending out. Again, you can prop, you can stay with straight arms, you can stay right here, you can bring your elbows onto a prop, or you can bring your elbows down to the ground. Again, it doesn't matter what you look like. Yoga isn't about what you look like or what position you actually end up getting into. It's really more about the breath, the focus, moving the body. And um, so I love this Facebook Live because I feel like people are more, people who are more self-conscious, I, I feel like might be more likely to do this because no one's watching, right? Take another deep breath, relax if your head Maybe it feels good to let your head hang down and stretch the back of the neck. One more long exhale, softening here. And then let's slowly walk up and inhale. Hands behind the back, knees from side to side. And then both knees over to the right again. And this time I'm gonna, okay. So both knees over to the right side and you're gonna walk past your right shin, past your right knee, past your right hip if you can, twist all the way behind you. And you can stay right here in this nice high twist, or you can begin to walk the hands, <laughs> so many props, you can begin to walk the hands away from the body. Coming down as low as feels available to you. Again, props might be available to go under your elbows. Maybe the elbows come down to the ground. 
And then maybe the forehead comes down to the ground. Wherever you are, if it's available, take that left arm and extend it out overhead and really feel how that accentuates the stretch going down the left side. Think about drawing your left shoulder towards the ground and twisting a little bit deeper. Let's take another long, deep breath in and a long breath out. And just relax, soften into wherever you are. Slowly use your hands to walk up. Bring your hands both behind you. And let's bring the knees over to the left side. Same position, 90-90. You're going to walk past your shin, past your knee, past your hip, twisting as far as you can behind you. Staying right here, a nice upright twist. Maybe you want to walk down a little bit. So you're just drawing the chest as close as you can towards the ground. You can prop your elbows up on a prop. You can prop your elbows on the ground. You can bring your forehead all the way, well, if available, whatever feels comfortable, wherever your body feels like it wants to be. And if it's also available, that right arm's gonna straighten overhead. So you should feel a really great stretch in your right lat, your serratus your tricep, right shoulders drawing towards the ground, so we're drawing the chest close to the ground. Relax your head. You want to pop your chin into your hands for support, so don't want the back of the neck or the front of the neck working to hold your head up here. Just one or two more nice relaxing breaths, softening into the space wherever you are. And then let's slowly walk ourselves up. Mm. Like we're almost finished. So, hands behind your back once more. Maybe you want to bring the knees from side to side. If that feels good, shake that out. We're going to turn the fingers towards the body now. So, both hands are down behind you with your fingertips pointing towards you and your feet are hip distance apart. And we're going to pull the shoulders back and then down and then externally rotate them. So to externally rotate the shoulders, it's as if, it's as if we're taking our fingertips that are pointing towards our body and we're, we're isometrically rotating our fingertips away from our hips. So we're twisting this way without actually moving our hands. So the shoulders come back, down, and then externally rotate. And that should feel like a really nice stretch in your forearms, and it should feel like your chest is really open now and really broad. And we're thinking about drawing the breastplate towards the sky here. And we're going to keep the back of the neck long and reach the back of the neck so Right here, think about pulling from the base of the skull up towards the sky to get even taller in this position here. So shoulders, shoulders pulling wide, pulling back, chest lifting tall, broadening the collarbones, and then this whole spine is lifting up. And then stay here or press into the feet, lift the hips up. You can keep the back of the neck long, or if it feels good to let the head fall back, that's cool too. Just three breaths here. If it feels good to gently rock, you can gently rock. I'm going to slowly let the hips come down. And then we're going to round the spine, 
we're going to roll all the way down onto our back, one vertebrae at a time. So really pull the belly in and up to see if you can get those lower vertebrae to touch down on the mat. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, and then the middle back, and then the upper back, and then the back of the head. And then let's reach out really long and stretch the whole body long. Mm, taking a nice deep breath, getting tall. And then let's separate the feet about mat width apart. If you want to take your prop and put it underneath your knees, we're coming into our final relaxation here. Sometimes it feels nice to have a bend in the knees to let the low back relax. The feet are mat width apart and the hands are about a foot or so away from your sides with your palms face up. Shoulders are relaxed down away from the ears and down into the mat. Gently roll your head from side to side and just feel your neck relax and make sure that you're not having your head going to one side or the other. Just have your head right in the center. Let's take a few deep breaths and scan through your whole entire body and just relax every muscle, every joint, every bone, every ligament, all the connective tissue. Just feel yourself let go. Feel yourself relaxing, softening, slowing down the breath. So we're just going to be here for a couple of minutes in this final relaxation. And once your body's relaxed, let's see if we can keep our awareness on our breath. And it's really easy and it's really normal for the mind to begin to wander. And that's okay. What you do when the mind begins to wander is you recognize and you acknowledge the thoughts that you're having. And then you simply return your awareness back to your breath. So it's okay to have the thoughts, acknowledge the thought. Say, I'll come back to you later, thought, if it's a thought worth coming back to you later. But in this moment, I'm going to return to simply being aware of my soft, relaxing breath.
slowly begin to lengthen and deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Make some gentle movements and stretches. Whenever you're ready, roll onto your side, help yourself up, or you can stay right there in Shavasana as long as you like. That's okay too. Oscar's in Shavasana too. I'm surprised he hasn't come say hi. That's my friend. Come on, come say hi. So I hope you enjoyed this yoga. Here's my sleepy dog. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I thank you so much. Oscar's depressed because it's raining and we don't go outside and play when it's raining. That's what it is. He's moping because of the rain. I'm celebrating the rain because like I said, we've been in a drought, so it's like life, right? Some people, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Hey, Oscar. Okay. Bye, guys. Love you.